Good evening and good morning to everyone. I am a Bhikkhu Kai Superior on Buddha Sasana program tonight. Uh, today, uh, we remake this uh, program with the earlier uh, session with uh, Venerable Stam Jun Lee. So, before I begin, I would like to uh, let me pay homage to the Buddha Dhamma and the, uh, the Sangha with my high respect and also my respect to all venerable monks and I welcome uh, everybody to the program and especially would like to welcome Venerable Sam uh, Chun Li to the program and thank you for your effort to come and join us. Uh, I'm grateful for your patience and we all having difficulties on joining this program together. So uh, today we are we are on we are still on the same uh, program on the same topic, which is the Maha Mangala Sutta, the highest blessing, uh, the discourse of the highest blessing. So uh, we are going back a little bit in uh, the topics, uh, which is the, you know, today it is all talking about the being respectful, being humble, contented, grateful, and listening to the Dhamma at a suitable time. This is the most blessing. So, uh, in order to explore, uh, elaborate on these uh, uh, particular blessings, we are fortunate to have Venerable uh, Sam Chini <coughs> join us for this uh, evening or it is in the morning in Cambodia. So, uh, once again, thank you so much for joining us and welcome to the program. And finally, you can uh, join us and uh, share your knowledge on this uh, particular sutras with us. So, uh, welcome and uh, but before I uh, going to ask you the uh, on on these uh, blessings, I would like you to uh, share with us your perspective or your understanding on uh, what is blessings. So please, thank you. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> yes. First of all, I would like to pay respect to the triple gem and uh, respect to the. Uh, all senior monks and respect to uh, Venerable uh, Kai Supir and my directors. And I would like to say hello to all uh, devotees who are watching in this program. Yes. <clears throat> yeah, so, uh, so, yeah, so, so, yeah, so, so what is, what is blessings in your understanding? Yes. From my understanding, the the word blessings in the Pali the mean uh, mangala, right? Yes. Uh, mangalas, uh, according to the 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 commentary of uh, Mangala Sutta, uh, it it is explained in many ways. The word mangalas, such as. Uh, Mangkalanti itikaranang, butikaranang, sapa sapakaranang. It means that uh, the word mangala means the way of success or the way of progress and uh, the the way of getting all wealth. And another meaning, mangalas it derived from manga. Manga means papang, papa. Yeah, means sint. And uh, mean mangkang papang luna titi mangkalangs mean the cause which cut or eliminate the unwholesome actions is called mangalas. Mean the word mangalas mean uh, eliminate the uh, eliminate all uh, unwholesome actions. Okay. And another meanings tanyang mangatiti mangalangs. I mean, the state which get married is called Mangala. I mean, the way to get married. Mm -hmm. I yeah. see. The way to get married means Mangalas. I see. So, if you, if you want to get uh, happiness or uh, Mangalas or the highest blessing, you need to follow the, the, way, the way of Buddha taught. You know, in the Mangala Sutta, there are uh, 38 uh, mangalas or thirty eight higher blessings. Yeah. If we, so, if we follow this, we will get uh, yeah, we get the mangala, we get the uh, higher blessings. 
I see. Yeah. So okay. yes, it, it it has a lot. It has a lot of a lot of meaning and yeah, a lot of meaning. And, and at the same time, people are perceiving it in different way. You know, sometimes, you know, especially in our country or our neighboring countries, they they assume that blessing is is kind of some empowerment, which uh, yeah, which is which is something that we ask for, and 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 someone. You know, just like people are coming to see the monk, can you can you give me some blessings? Even we in the in the Western countries, in uh, different part of the world, where wherever we go as a monk, uh, for those who have learned something about Buddhism, they always they often come and ask, "Can you give me some blessings?" Because you look like a holy person. So, uh, but but in in this sutta, particularly, uh, it, it is all about uh, committing an action. In, in, a, in a, yeah, yeah. A, a wholesome actions that that we uh, we can uh, receive those blessings. It's not something that people are empowering to us or or, or, or granted to, to 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 someone. So, but it's still a lot in I, I, because we we are, today we are, we are we only have two of us. So I mm-hmm. I'm going to spend a little bit more time so uh, I can uh, extend a little bit because. Uh, we still have plenty of time to to go through all our topics, and I I just wonder you you live in Cambodia and you've been to uh, many countries, and I I'm pretty sure that you you experience uh, this kind of things in in Cambodia that 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 when people are uh, asking for blessings, what are you going to react to that you know? Can yes. You, can you share with us? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I understand. Yeah. 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 So can can you share with us how yes, how, how, really. how should like, you react? Like, like like you said, yeah. Uh, most of people, you know, confuse the word blessings. When we say blessings, mean uh, we we need to worship or we need to pray yes. for blessing or we need uh, another one to bless us. Yes. Yes. But in the Buddhism. The blessing here means we need to do by the, by ourselves. We need to practice, just uh, practice the uh, wholesome uh, actions. And so most of uh, Cambodian peoples, yes, they, they they need the blessings just from the monks or from another that they believe. It is a uh, empowers peoples, and when when they want blessing, they, for example, if they need blessing, they they go to the temple, and and say to the monk, uh, please uh, bless me, and pray, like uh, pray the the blessing gatha uh, to me. Yeah. yeah. But uh, blessing here is not the real blessings in uh, Buddhism. We just say blessing, but if we, we don't practice uh, uh, goodness uh, by you know physical action, by the mental actions, we cannot uh, get the the, the real bless, uh, blessing. If we don't practice by ourselves, we cannot uh, get the blessing. But yes. This is my uh, understanding. Okay, thank you. Yeah, there's there's another thing, you know, with uh, when we uh, mostly when people are are feeling feeling bad, of uh, of feeling annoying and feeling hello uneasy. Can you hear me? Hello. Uh, can can you hear me, venerable? I think we have some problems in here. Hello. No, we have problems. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can can 
Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, he is. Okay, okay. So yes, yeah, so I, I just want to clarify a little bit on on this, you know, because like, you know, when sometimes we sometimes people feeling uneasy, feeling feeling bad, and yeah. and feeling so so stressful, and and then uh, mostly we uh, they go to the temple that uh, that, uh, that that they think that uh, monks or of those who who have practiced some sort of things that uh, could clean the the uneasy things in, in in their mind, so so what do you say to that, and how can how can you persuade or make people understand that uh, and that uh, we we cannot simply cleaning or or eliminating those stressfulness in in their mind. So can 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 you share a little bit of uh, on yeah. this? Yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah, uh, sometimes we 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 uh, difficult to explain them about this because yes, yeah, uh, they believe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, they believe the monk because uh, they think monk can uh, bless them to get uh, happiness. Yes, yes. In their life, when uh, they 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 get when they they get you know unhappiness, and they go to the temple and mm -hmm. say to the monk, uh, yes. "Venerable sirs, please." Uh, Bless me, or please, uh, you know, uh, recite the parita to bless, <laughs> yes. to bless me, yeah. like this. Or mm -hmm. sometimes they get, you know, some kind of uh, ties. Yes, uh, the bracelet, the yeah. bracelet. Yeah, yeah, the bracelet. Yeah, the, yeah. the parita. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So yeah, this. So so now let 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 us turn to the the the, the, the teaching of the Buddha, uh, which is in the Maha Mangala Sutta. So here, mm -hmm. uh, the topic that you have agreed to share with us is that here, you know, being being respectful. So, so mm -hmm. I will go. I will go one by one. So, what did the what did the Buddha mean by being respect, uh, respectful? Is one of the blessings in in his uh, sutta. Can can you explain yeah. uh, on this? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. <clears throat> yes. God of all mean respect to the person who should be respected when respect to the one uh, who should be respected the Buddha said that it is the 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 mangala it is the highest blessings yeah so can you explain a little bit on, yeah, on yeah, this yeah. So, I, what, I will what? explain this yeah. okay so the way of respects in uh, in Buddhism, the way of respect uh, it should be acts by uh, your body, by your speech, and by your mind. It means mm -hmm. that by your body you just uh, raise your hand and bow your head, and by your speech you just uh, say a good word to the others, and by your mind you just make your mind without carelessness. So which which one should should be respectful? Uh, in Buddhism, a respectable person is a person who has high virtue, such as a Buddha, Pajika Buddha, Arahant, Savaka, parent or other person, etc. So all these people we should be respect. There are many kinds of respectable things, but according to Appamada, Garava Sutta, there are only seven things that uh, should be respectful. So yes, uh, number one, Sutta uh, Satu Garavata means respect to the Buddha. Respect mm -hmm. to the Buddha means you just uh, respect to the uh, Buddha image, the Buddha relics, or the forty tree. Mm -hmm. Or the place where the Buddha was born, or where the Buddha enlightened, yeah. And Dhamma Garavata, respect to the Dhamma. Respect to the Dhamma means you need to listen to the Dhamma carefully, intentionally, or just uh, respect in the discipline, the, the Sutta or the Abhidhamma. And respect to uh, and uh, Sangha Garavata, respect to the Sangha. 
respect to the sankas mean you need just say good word to the monks or you just raise your hand and bow your head to the monks yeah or you just offer the food to the monk it means you you respect to the monk just respect uh, uh, the qualities of the monk yeah and sikha garwada mean respect to the learning respect in learning mm -hmm. respect mm -hmm. in learning mean you need to learn carefully you need to limit the time to learn or just respect to the time what you need what you should what you should learn and what you should, yeah and uh, res and apamata uh, samati garavada respect uh, in meditations and another apamata garavada may respect in carefulness and the last one parisanta garavada respect in reception or in welcomes I mean you need to respect to the guests just by offer the the food to the guests when uh, they come to your home you need to respect or you need to uh, educate them uh, train them uh, what is good or what is bad it's mean respect to the yeah I mean parisanta garavada mean respect to uh, respect in welcomes yeah I mean welcome to the guests Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, therefore, uh, if uh, we respect all these things, we will get the highest blessings. This is a, a Buddhism. Okay. So let 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 me go deep into this. Uh, this. Uh, you, know, you have mentioned that respect uh, respect to the Dharma. Mm -hmm. uh, and respect to the Sangha. So, why being respect to to the Dharma? That we can get blessings, because uh, you know, so how 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 do we express our respectfulness to to the Dhamma, and and the number the Dhamma is a uh, blessing is bad. So can can you can you can you give kind of example that uh, we respect to the Dhamma and we get blessings? Can you clarify a little bit on this? So. Respect to the dhammas. Well, when we respect to the dhammas, mean we get uh, higher blessings. Uh, mean when. So when when you respect to the dhamma, uh, mean it, it mean that uh, you need to. When when you listen to the dhamma. Just listen carefully. Or uh, when you learn the dhammas, just learn, you know, just learn intentionally. Mm -hmm. So when you respect to the dhamma, mean you will know the dhamma clear clearly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So so I, I just I just wanna to, to because sometimes you know it it's a little bit confused you know but just being respect. What is the purpose of being respect, and 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 what is the benefit of of, of, of respecting that the the dharma that we think that uh, we can get blessing so i i just want to uh, give a share an, share an example like you know if we practice the the five precepts you know simply five precepts uh, the five uh, those five precepts is, uh, give us a uh, benefit so that is that is kind of yeah, blessing yeah. so yeah so so that the, yeah so the, the next one uh here also the buddha has mentioned uh, being humble is also uh, another blessing. So, what do you make of that? What? What? Can you ask uh, me again? Uh, being humble. Oh. Being humble is also another blessing. So. Oh, being humble. Yeah. <clears throat> so what what can you say about it? Uh, ni nivato, right? Yes. Nivatos is a is a twenty third higher blessings. Yep. Yeah. Nivato means being humble. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so why being humble is blessings? 
Yeah, okay. when when I uh, before when I explain the 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 this, we need to understand what is uh, uh, humility or nivados. Mm -hmm. Yeah, humility is mean uh, trying to trying to eliminate the idea of uh, identifying oneself, one nation, one family, one clan. Or one race is the best because this thought it and uh, despite the cause of destructions, although someone who has high rank, power, wealth, and high knowledge, he or she is arrogant and uncompromising. They, they will not be respected and admired. As long as the idea of discrimination is removed, the happiness will occur in the society and in the world. So, being humble is uh, the highest pleasing. I see. So, I mean... Uh, Did it, you it get what not... I mean? Yes, yes. So, it, you mean that uh, if for those who are holding to their position, Uh, mm -hmm. they they couldn't be they couldn't be kind to to one another so yeah. they couldn't be yeah they couldn't be humble being respectful or being so that 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 is not the kind of because sometimes people are holding to their position and their wealth and their the thing that their status in in the society is high they couldn't they couldn't be simple and be humble to to the, the people who are lower lower rank than them so so mm -hmm. uh Uh, the real blessing is that it's not it is not your uh, your so, position and your your status and your property that you that you have uh, which could grant you the kind of blessing but being humble to uh, to everyone no matter what so and then uh, yeah it is a, a kind of blessing so and then the next one is the Buddha has uh, also mentioned about the being contented mm -hmm. yeah so what do you make of that? Yes. According to the teaching Sabura, if you want to get the the great happiness or the highest blessing, you need to practice, you know, just being contented. I mean santati. Yeah. What does it mean by this word? It means that when we are, you know, The word, the word santuti, it means that we are happy what, uh, with what we, we have or possess. Mm -hmm. It means uh, santuti. I mean, we, we, we are happy what we have. It means santuti. So the Buddha taught people to work hard, try to do their job to the best of their ability, and potential, but no matter how accomplished they are, they value and appreciate them. Mm -hmm. we, we, rejoice, we rejoice according to the ability and prosperity. On the other hand, in, in this world, it's often meet disappointed sick. So to live in, in harmony and happiness is to know the truth and be satisfied uh, and sufficient. Yes, sufficient with what we have or possess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, a content person does not become greedy, uh, mm -hmm. forgetful and despise or envy others when, when he or she get wealth or falls into uh, risk, into disrepair. Mm -hmm. Therefore, uh, trying to educate our mind to be contented like this, mm -hmm. we will get the highest blessing. This mm -hmm. is according to the, the Buddha's teaching. I see. So, this, yeah. put it in, so we can just put it in a simple way that's being satisfied with what yeah, we yeah. have. Yeah, uh, yeah. And, and and do not 
do not disgrace uh, of what you have and being so being joyful with with, the, with what you have uh, would be uh, considered as one of the blessings in the Buddha's teaching so yeah and then so the next one the Buddha has uh, mentioned that being grateful and listening to the Dhamma at a suitable time so what what did the Buddha mean by that being grateful and listening to the Dhamma at a suitable time so can you mm-hmm. can you share with us uh, uh, the, the meaning of this and what did the Buddha's uh, uh, intend to to tell us thank you Yes. Yeah, thank you. Another mangalas, if uh, mm. someone want to get a mangala or higher blessing, we need to practice kantinyuta or dhamma savana, I mean uh, listening to the dhamma in a suitable time. Yes. Kantinyuta means uh, being grateful. What it means? So, the one who is aware of the gratitude that others do is called a grateful person. Yeah, it means katinyu, yeah, katinyuta, yeah, katinyuta pukala. Mean the one who is aware of gratitude that others do is called a grateful person. The grateful person who reciprocate the gratitude of others is called Katinyu Kataweti Pukala. There are three things that we should be grateful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There are three things that we should be uh, grateful to. The first one, yes. person. Mm-hmm. And the second one, the place. And the last one, the job. Mm-hmm. So, so can you explain the, the, on this? Yeah, yeah. Go on. What person that, that, that we should to grateful to? Yeah. The persons, for example, lies our parent. You know, our parents are the, the are the, the forefathers or ancestors of the children because they gave because they give birth and uh, train their, their children. So the, the children should be grateful to them because they, they do many things. They do, they do good things to the children. So the children should be grateful to the parent. And the Buddha, the Buddha is the ancestors of Buddhists or a uh, human being because he tried to find a way, to, to, to find a way, uh, you know, to, 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 to liberate the human being from uh, suffering. So, the Buddhist or the human being should be grateful to the Buddha. Yeah, should be grateful to the Buddha. Yeah. And so, if someone or somebody uh, have ever done good to us, we need to Oh, sorry. Yes, some will call. Yes. Yeah. Go on, go on. Yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah. Go on. If, if someone, you know, have ever do good to us, so we need to do back to them. So it means that, it means that we, 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 great, we are grateful to the, to, to the persons. Mm-hmm. And another thing, uh, we, 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 we need, or we should be grateful to the place. So the place means the place where we are living. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. if I am a Cambo, I am Cambodian. I am Cambodian. I'm living in Cambodia. So I need to grateful to the Cambodia. I mean to the place where I'm living. We need to protect the land. We need to protect everything that the ancestor uh, created or made. So we need to protect culture, protect environment, protect uh, traditions, etc. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. we need to up, uh, you know, preserve all the things 
that the ancestors uh, created. Mm -hmm. So, so if we we do like this, mean uh, we are grateful to the place. And another thing that uh, we should be uh, grateful to is job. You know, job. So, if I am a farmer, I need to I need to be grateful to the farming. I need to know how to uh, how to do farming. You know how to do farming, how to do agriculture, mm -hmm. how to use the land, how to protect the land. So, and another thing we need to. If I am a teacher, I need to respect to the time. I need to respect to my duty. I am a teacher, so I need to 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 take my student carefully, to train him carefully. Or if I am a you know a a, a ministers or I am a leaders, so I need I I need to you know respect uh to my duty. If we respect to the time to the duty. You know, it means we are grateful to the job. So, if we, we are grateful to all these things, uh, in Buddhism, we will get the higher blessing. Mm -hmm. If we want to get a blessing, we practice, you know, cutting mm -hmm. Mean We need to be grateful to three things. Uh, grateful to person, grateful <laughs> to place. Uh, place, and mm -hmm. grateful to the job. Yes. Yeah. Th thank, yeah. Thank you so much. You know, yeah, when, yeah. when when about these uh, these these three things is uh, is important. You know, yes. we we mostly uh, we often forget mm -hmm. uh, to the person who has done so much to us. You know, especially uh, our younger generation. We we were we were raised and brought up by our parents, and 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 and, and as well we, when uh, while we are living our life, uh, there are many grateful people there are many people who who has done so much things uh to to to, to, to all of us and then sometimes we ignore we we couldn't uh we could uh, we couldn't do something back uh, to help them when they are in trouble and then uh we continuing our life and then when we facing difficulties and obstacles in life and then be complaining why my life is not uh fulfill and why my life is not happy mm -hmm. and 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 we never look back we never uh, we never just so in order to understand these three things i think it is important for all of us to be alert to be mindful uh of our own action to be grateful to the person who uh who has done so much thing to you for example your parents sometimes even with your friends your elders as, as a as a monk i think we we should be grateful to to our senior monks who has who who, who we have spent some time with, uh, and they they guided us and 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 they they teach us they taught us uh, to live a proper life and and yeah so so that uh, simply you know, looking at for what you have explained I think uh, blessing is not far away from us blessings is in front of us blessing is something that we can put into yeah. that that we can put into practice and 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 most most uh, more importantly the the place where we live you know sometimes people are uh, especially in a temple uh, when uh, when we live in a temple we think that that is not my belonging so simply i don't care uh, whether the things broken or you know we just we just uh you know, some people are are, 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 are having the terrible uh, attitude to the place uh, where they live and we don't we don't just talk about the whole country but just in the temple that sometimes yes. because yeah, mostly yeah. we think that 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 place is not belonging to me so i just live for a short mm -hmm. time and then i leave and so i think this is a misunderstanding and then this is a disgrace uh when when people are living in a place and and didn't didn't have a heart or a, a kind heart to take care of the place where, where we live and then we complain why I'm not being so blessful, <laughs> and and also uh, you know the, the job that you have uh, just mentioned too. You know sometimes we uh, we we don't really understand, we don't really pay attention, we don't really care so much. 
sometimes being a teacher, I'm uh, that's my job. I just teach and just give you what I, I, I am instructed to to do. That's it. But yeah. you know, the most important thing that you care to, you pay attention to your, mm -hmm. uh, 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 like you mentioned, is your student. Uh, uh, the teacher must care for the student, uh, must uh, observe how they, how well, what did they do, how well they did. So, uh, yes, I, thank you for that. I, it, it it is very touching for for what you have mentioned and. Uh, let us go on with the listening to the Dhamma. Uh, the Buddha has one listen to the, list, listening to the Dhamma at a suitable time is also another blessing. So, what did the Buddha mean by that? Listening to the Buddha to the Dhamma at a suitable time. So, why do we have to choose uh, a, a time to to listen to the Dhamma? So, can you share with us? Can you explain with it uh, to the public? Uh, what should we understand on this? Thank you. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Yes. Yes. Kali the Dhamma Savanangs means listening to the Dhamma at a suitable time. So why? Why yeah. we need to uh, listen to the Dhamma at a suitable time? Because Dhamma is the map, you know, is the map for finding the happiness of light. If we don't know Dhamma, we cannot identify what is wrong and uh, what is right or what is bad or what is good. With, without Dhamma, the man is like animal, like uh, Sanskrit slogan say that. Ahari nitra payamai tunamje samaniyametat pasupit naranam So, mean the man and animals, you know, uh, have the commencing like need food, sleep, sex, or cell preservation. So it is, uh, you know, for for basic things, you know, man and animal we have, we we, we have the same. But what is the distinguish? Uh, from man and other living or animals, the Dhamma. So the, if the man have no Dhamma, so the man is like animals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, the Dhamma sense. is the thing that to uh, uh, distinguish uh, the man uh, from the, the animals. I mean, the Dhamma is the is make the, 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 the man higher, you know, higher mm -hmm. than uh, animals. So if we have no dumbness, mean we like animals. Because animal and man need food, you know, need food, need uh, sex, need cell preservation, need sleep. The same, man. Mm -hmm. Man and animal, the same so, thing. So we need the same things. So we can, but what, we, what the difference is the, the dumbness. Dumbness. So we can so, we can just say we can just say it is a uh, I'm sorry to interrupt it. So it, it is yeah. uh, the most um, uh, the most important thing the, the, the differentiated between man and animal is the moral mm -hmm. conduct. We can say the moral yeah. conduct the uh, of a person uh, for those who 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 have a, a good moral conduct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course we we we, we will be looking uh, we will be look at better than than animal. But if for yeah, those yeah. who are for those who are not uh, committed. Uh, themselves to be a moral conduct, a good moral conduct, then uh, we are no different than animal. Whatever. Yeah, that, yeah. That, okay. Okay, go on. So, please. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, because of this, we need to listen to the Dharma to get knowledge. Mm -hmm. yeah, to get knowledge. Yeah. And if we, we listen to the Dharma at a suitable time, we will get, you know, five benefit from this. Okay. Number one, Asutang Sunati. Mean listen to the dam to any Dhamma that you have never heard. I mean we will listen a new, you know, new knowledge that okay. we, we never heard before. And number two, uh, Sutang Pariyo Tapati. Mean uh, make the Dhamma uh, ever or recently lessened, be clear. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we 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 can you know clarify uh, what we have listened. Yeah. And number three, uh, Kang Kang, we know they did mean uh, eliminate or remove the doubt uh, from our mind. And number four, Titing Oichong Koroti, it means make the right view, make the right view in the Buddhism. Mm-hmm. Uh, right view, yeah. And the last one, Chittamasa Pasitati, mean cause the mind to certify and uh, and wearing, you know, all the suffering. So when we listen to the Dhamma at a suitable time, we will get knowledge, we will get uh, many benefits, and we, we can identify what is wrong and what is right, and what is bad or what is good. And when we know this, we can practice, we can uh, uh, follow this thing in right way. So when we, we know the Dhamma clearly, we can get a happiness because of this. Being, uh, being listening to the Dhamma at a suitable time, we will get higher blessing. This is uh, the teachings of Buddha. Thank you. Thank you yeah. so much. So, yes, we, we are approaching the end of our talk show. And mm-hmm. we have uh, uh, discovered a lot of ideas and a lot of uh, meaningful teachings of the Buddha from being respectful, being humble, being contented, uh, being grateful, and listening to the Dhamma. These are the highest blessings in the Mahamangala Sutta. So, uh, before ending this uh, this talk, I I would like you to uh, to share your uh, perspective and encouragement to the people. What would you say to inspire people to put those things into practice? So, you have two minutes uh, for, for uh, two minutes for this. So, could you please share with us uh, how how would you like people to do? Uh, to put this, uh, to put the, what you have described, the you know being great, uh, being respectful, being humble, being contented, being grateful, uh, and listening to the Dhamma. These are the highest blessing in in Buddha's teaching. So, how would you like people to to put all of this thing to practice in order to have the real blessings in their life? So, thank you. Yes, uh, before uh, finish these programs, I. I I would like to say in brief, yes. If uh, someone want to get higher blessings, uh, mangalas or uh, mangala, so all the people always want uh, blessing, need blessing. If you want or you need blessing, you should be you should you should not go to the temple and ask the monk to bless you. But you need to practice by yourself. You know, according to the teachings of Buddha, the way of getting uh, higher blessings, there are 38 uh, blessings. So, like, you know, Asevana Japalanan, don't associate with the fools, but associate mm. with the white, like this. So, mm. and like we, like uh, I explained uh, before, so if you want to get blessing, you need to have a grateful, to, to have a great, grateful, you, you need, you, 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 yeah, you should be uh, grateful, you should be uh, humble, you should be uh, contented, and uh, you should be uh, listened, you, yeah, su- should listen uh, to the Dhamma at a suitable time. If we practice in this way, 
uh, if you practice in you know this way you will get the real happiness or you will get a higher blessing this is the teachings of buddha yeah if you know this clearly you don't want to go uh, anywhere uh, to ask someone to bless you you can bless by yourself yeah by practicing good yeah practicing uh, right right ways right paths uh, to get the the real happiness in your life mm-hmm. yeah okay. so the blessing you know the god you know the god cannot bless you and another the other cannot bless you if you don't practice the good thing if you are bad you will get bad if you are good you will get the good so just practice the good <clears throat> you will get the blessings by yourself and you will get blessing in your life just being good okay yeah. okay thank you so much when, is- when about yeah thank thank you so much for for your for your time for your for participating uh with this program i i am grateful for yeah, yeah. Uh, your contribution the knowledge to this program i hope the the public uh, our viewers will benefit from from this talk by by their listening and understand and and keep those understanding with themselves and put and put those uh those thing into practice and 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 for their own benefits and people around them so uh thank you once again and i just uh, would like to uh mention again that uh, today we have uh talk about uh, being grateful being uh respected being humble being contented and listening to the dhamma in a suitable time and this is the highest blessings in a uh, buddha's teachings and uh once again i hope people will uh understand and and also i would like to uh notice this too that uh we are not perfect we are not a native yeah. speaker uh we will have some mistake in english and we are trying our best uh, to share this uh knowledge with the the audience who might be uh, who may not understand uh, our cambodian language so that's why in this program we purposely use english as a tool to share the knowledge to the public and i hope the people who are listening to this uh understand that we we are still young in english and we were not born or raised in this country or in the uh english speaking country so uh, i hope people understand and please don't mind our language uh, uh just trying to get the knowledge that we are trying to share with uh, uh th- with the public here and we hope all the best to the people who are listening uh to this program so finally uh before ending this uh, uh program i would like i would like to uh say thank you to venerable uh, sam chunni for, okay. for 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 joining us and also to the people who are listening to this program may all of you be blessed and be healthy and stay strong uh, during this pandemic and most importantly be mindful for whatever you do in your life that the virus is still around and if you are mindful if you are alert and practice the health care workers advice or doctors advice to protect yourself from this virus uh, we all will be having uh, the greatest blessings here so uh, that is the right right the right things to practice so uh, once again thank you so much for uh, joining with us and thank you for watching okay thank you